Hey there everyone and welcome to WordPress series. In this video, we are going to learn how the WordPress file structure is there and in case we need to edit them, how we can do that. Just to remind you that this series is not about editing the existing WordPress or creating your own themes or widget. Maybe we can take them and talk about them later on. Right now, this series is all about how to set up your WordPress uh, using the themes plugin and to understand everything about it. So in this process, the first thing is to understand the file structure so that you can be aware of where things are lying and how they are lying. And moving on to that, uh, first of all, just click on this dashboard and you will be thrown onto your dashboard. And for some of you, the screen might not be looking exactly the same because you might have just dismissed this guy and uh, maybe somebody else. So go ahead, click on this screen options and there you go. All the uh, boxes that you see here should be checked up because we want to explore each and everything about WordPress. So make sure the screen options are there. Now also the quick draft and everything are completely movable so you can move them wherever you like so you can arrange them according to what you like. That's the point number one. The second point is the updates. You'll be seeing quite a lot of updates throughout the series as well as when you'll be installing the WordPress and everything. And make sure you do the update uh, as soon as you see them. Now, in case you are just working out just like me on a local host, the updation is a little bit different onto a real site. I will show you later on that how the updates actually work on a real website. Right now, we are not going to be doing an update because uh, if you'll try to do an update here just now and if I click on update plugin, you'll be asked to put up your FTP password and something like that. Now, these are things which are not being done onto a real website. These things don't appear anytime. Since this is a local host installation, that is why you are seeing a host name, FTP username and password. And we haven't set that anything like that. So right now we are not going to be doing an update just like that. But for sure, I'll show you uh, later on how you can do these up updates onto a real website and all of that. OK, so this is all the thing that we have. Now it's important that we understand the file structure of the entire WordPress website. So we're going to hit on explore. Make sure you add into the volumes and then open this htdocs and lco. So we're going to open up this entire lco folder in our atom and we will be understanding all these things. So let's just fire up our atom. So we're going to go ahead and launch our atom. There we go. And it's going to take not much time, just a little bit seconds there. I can minimize that in the meantime. Okay, so there we go. Our atom is almost ready and we're going to open this guy. LCO, let's just go back and we're going to just open this folder here. There we go. Lots of files, lots and lots of files are here. Now, as soon as you can quickly open this up, you'll see that there are a lot of dot and underscore files which are not easily uh, seen at your file system. Also, you'll notice that there are a lot of lot of things here and a couple of them are here, but there are just three folders here. Interesting there. Uh, WP admin. Uh, which handles all your database backend system. There is a WP content which consists of plugin themes and a little bit things here and there. And also there is WP includes. We will talk about that later on how the includes and everything works up. Okay, so we can see uh, things are going on. And uh, there are a few things that you don't require. Just like for example, there is a, a license.txt. Uh, you don't need to keep that. You can delete that. Feel free to even do that. There is also a readme.html which tells about a lot of things like uh, WordPress install, which is the server version and uh, not the server version, but WordPress version and things like that. So you might want to delete that as well. Uh, there is no such thing that you should be keeping up like that index and license and all these things. Uh, but be sure that uh, whatever the things you are deleting, this may break up your website or may not. But for sure, license.txt and readme.html will not break your website. Feel free to even delete them. Okay. Now, uh, there is one more, couple of more interesting file that I would like to focus here. And uh, the first one is, uh, let me just find that up. Uh, this is wp-config.php. Uh, this is a very important file. And uh, make sure you don't edit it too much. We have already edited that in the very first video of uh, the installation part. Now here, if we'll go a little bit back, we have already added our salt keys, but if we'll go a little bit deep uh, back here, you will notice the table prefix is wp underscore. Now you can change that at the time of installing and then you will notice uh, that if you go to the application, uh, let me just find that up applications. I need to bring that up back. And if I go to my applications, go to my PHP my admin, 
you will notice that all the database tables of this LCO press are actually getting started with WP underscore. If you don't like that, you want to change that, this is the place where you should be looking up and changing that up. Okay, so this is uh, the important file, configuration file. You don't change that much, but yes, uh, this is one of the important part here. Okay, now let me also show you uh, an easier way to edit the files in case you are aware with the HT, in case you are aware of H, uh, PHP and things like that. So go back to your WordPress. And WordPress is actually divided into three categories. The first one is home and updates. This is the category one. The second is the CMS category, which is post, media, pages, and comments. So all these four guys are considered as one category, the CMS, content management system. This is the core part. And the rest of the final uh, five things, these appearance, plugin, users, tools, and settings are all your backend settings so that how you can make your website beautiful, can install more functionality, can add more users, and things like that. Now go to your appearance, and once you are into the appearance, make sure that the menu is being thrown to you. And inside the menu, first of all, we are going to go and click on this editor. Now as soon as I click on editor, you will see that all the code is being available to you. Now, this code is not a small code, this is a big code, and for example, you want to edit the footer, you can just click on this theme footer and can edit these theme footer in case you are aware of the PHP. But in case you are not, no need of that. Uh, you can still make a really beautiful website, okay? Now, in, our, in, a, in order to understand more about what are the themes and everything, first of all, let's go ahead and click on the themes, and you will notice there are three themes which are by default installed on your system, the 2017, 2015, and 2016. Let's see in the folder structure where these themes are. So I'm gonna go into WP content inside the themes, and we can see that the 2015 is there, 2016, uh, and 2017. So these three themes are folders. So these are just full-fledged websites that are available to us. And there are hundreds of others as well which we can explore. So for example, if you want to search install themes or maybe you want to add a new theme, you can just click on this and you can search for a tons of websites which are already available for you. Of course, not every website just serves exactly what you like, but these are all customizable, editable, and usually just serve the job. So we will be exploring that quite a lot. But now it's the time to explore one more section, which is usually not being discussed much in the WordPress courses and things, which is the codex of WordPress. So how does anybody learn to create these themes and all these things? So we're gonna click on this codex in case you want to go there, you can directly go there with codex.wordpress.com and it's a wordpress.org and it's available in the documentation as well, support and then documentation. Here are all the documentation which are available. For example, you want to work with the themes, you can just develop, learn to develop themes, child themes, blog design layout, writing a plugin and all of that. And just like always, uh, this is also a kind of a documentation which is not so easy to understand, but for sure, I'll try to make sure uh, that we do some things with that. Now with that, uh, let's just go back here and try to understand the theme development process. Not much in detail, but yes, we will be learning just a hint of that. So we can see that we have three basic themes because we have got three folders there. Now what you have, what we will be doing here is a little bit awesome. So uh, go to into WP content first of all, and then onto this uh, themes, make sure you expand that. And inside the themes, we are gonna create a new folder and we are gonna create two new files inside that. So right click onto the theme and click on new folder and we're gonna call this as, uh, this folder as, let's just call this as learn code, just like that, and hit enter, there we go. Uh, now we have a new folder, learn code, there is nothing inside it. Now we're gonna right click on this folder and we're gonna click on new file, okay? And this file is gonna be, let's just call this as, as style.css. We are not gonna write a single line into it, but still we have a style.css. Just follow me along, it's gonna be fun. Right click on this learn code online, learn code again and click on new file. And this time the file is gonna be called as index.php and hit enter. Okay, we haven't written a single line of code and we have just created two blank files, style.css and index.php. Now go back onto your browser and hit a reload there at themes.php and magically you're gonna see that we have a learn code online theme. 
Yes, of course, this theme doesn't have a preview, this theme doesn't work, but just with creating two simple files, we are able to create a new section in our theme which can be activated. So notice all the functionality, we didn't put any functionality like theme detail, activate, live preview, we haven't done any kind of coding for that and still WordPress is serving that all these things for us. This is all because of the pre-built codex that is being that comes up as a WordPress. So right now, I don't want to do these kinds of things, but still, I'm going to keep it just like that. And just to remind you that it's not a big deal to create themes and all these things. We can surely do that. But right now, let's just go back here. So let's just go back and we are going to go into themes again and click on this add new and just look on to various themes. Don't install any of them. We I'm going to show you which one to install and all of that. Just click on this and click on the preview. Uh, so that you can have a little bit preview idea of how the theme looks like and how you, if we are going to install and add some plugins and all these things, how this is going to look like. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to close this guy and uh, the previews are available for almost any one of them. Uh, it's taking a little bit while to load the previews. Okay, there we go. This is how it looks like and all these things. So just go ahead and have a look. Don't install any of them. In the later on videos, we are going to learn how we can install a theme, which one we are going to be looking up, how we are going to editing and all these things. So have a look. Enjoy. And we're going to be closing up this video just right here. We are going to explore a lot of things in the future. That's it for this video. And I will surely catch you up in the next one.